I'm Pierce Alexander Lil Holt, the captain of Floaty Boat, and I'm here, and I'm doing my wake-up routine, which is, first, clean up all of the urine that I got all over the place by, <laughs> by letting the urine jug overflow, and now, um, time has passed, I'm over it. That was terrible, that's not how you want to wake up, but now... I am cooking breakfast. That's right. I uh, I did wash up a little bit, but not a lot of it. I haven't really gotten off the boat. It's insanely windy out there. It's really cold. It's January, and and long story short, my iced coffee was sitting out on deck. It's almost ice. Actually, it's very nice. Nicely cold. Um, so I'm having a coffee, and I'm cooking. Let me show you here. I'm cooking right here in, in the little toaster oven. I've got some, some maple sausages. I don't know if you can see those, but whoa, this cabin smells good. A nice change up from the, from the crab smell of... Lots of crab got cooked in here, but yeah, it's, that's a nice smell in the morning. Have a little coffee, and you know, I, I didn't even really feel like making coffee. And it's nice and toasty in here. I did turn off the heater. The heater I have down here, I don't know if you can see that, but Alexa, cabin lights on. see that so there's a little heater next to the table down here and that is what's keeping this place nice and toasty but this boat is rocking Alexa cabin lights off it's a little too intense <laughs> so what's the plan for today well, the plan is basically, I have six more of these little sausages. That might be lunch, too. I have a piece of fish for dinner. The plan is basically stay in the boat and stay warm and do, <laughs> do some work in here. I mean, I got done just about everything I need. To... Whoa, that's a gust. I don't know if you can feel it, but we were vibrating a little bit. Um, so I figured today I'm going to stay in here. Now, tomorrow should be nice. Tonight's going to be windy again. And it'll probably go into the morning, so I'll wake up. It'll be a little rocky again, but... But what I'm thinking is I might stay. So I'll stay tomorrow. And maybe leave Friday. I might stay for the weekend. I mean, it's going to be nice, but hard to say at this point. All I know is that the forecasts <laughs> have not been exactly accurate. So I came down here thinking, oh, it's going to be like glass. And it was. I mean, yesterday, I mean, it was nothing. And no boats are moving because it's January, so... You get like one wake every four hours, you know. Maybe somebody's going out and, I don't know, they, they've got to catch fish or they've got to do some some job. But most mostly nobody's doing anything, so it's, it's pretty nice. Even the sound of the sausage sounds, it's going to be good. I was thinking about getting eggs and... After I was in the cabin, you know, what occurred to me was, so I've got this tiny little fridge, this little thing here. I mean, it's basically the size of a, of a cooler, like a small cooler. So what I was thinking was, you know, normally I would say, hey, get some organic eggs because no offense to chickens, but they're trash birds. Okay, these birds, I had some chickens before, and 
I was like almost offended when they would go and the chickens would I put fresh water in there they'd hop in chicken poop and hop right into the water I'm like guys what what are you doing so normally I'd say go organic get the best chicken eggs you can get because they're trash birds <laughs> But what I'm thinking here in terms of space, I mean, I didn't, I didn't get eggs because I mean, they're this big and, and they're all individual, like the packaging is bigger than the eggs. So it would have taken up almost the, I don't know, a quarter, probably a quarter of the size of, or maybe more a third of the little refrigerator. I mean, it's really small. So I just didn't get them. But I thought later, after I was in the cabin, I was like, you know what would be good? Eggs. And you know how I could get them? In the little carton. You know, they have the, the carton eggs. They're already opened up. You know, you don't have to worry about breaking them. So that, that might be a good... Oh, yeah. You hear that sizzling? I just opened that oven up. how long those need to cook for they I think they come pre-cooked so whenever I want to eat them I'll eat them <laughs> you know some things save you a little bit of time on a boat like like you get something pre-made or you get something because everything's harder on a boat Especially when, when your fridge is this big, and your oven's that big, and everything's tiny. It's all a little harder. Well, sometimes easy is good. So, and easy's always good, but I agree. Sometimes a little bit of harder work pays off, but... Sometimes you got to go with the easy option because what's your real, I want to say cost benefit analysis, but it doesn't have to do with price, like value your time, you know? And so what's the real cost benefit analysis of, I don't know, doing whatever doesn't matter I mean think about it what what do you do on the boat that that takes a lot of time some stuff takes a really long time like I don't really clean my boat that much and when I do clean it and when I, I'll, I'll probably give it a good a good cleaning before I come back but you know I'm not out on the deck right now it's the middle of winter so I'm not cleaning it and they turned off the hoses because the pipes would be freezing so I'll put some FSR can't remember what that stands for fiberglass something something that stuff's good and then maybe i'll bring the power washer down i'll connect it to that hose i'll power wash the boat done but i probably only cleaned it that one time for the whole year because what's the cost benefit analysis on my time i don't care if the boat's a little dirty I'll clean stuff up if I make a mess, but like the stuff that just like comes from the air, the stuff that like discolors it, I don't even consider that really all that dirty. I'm breathing it. I'm living in it. <laughs> that stuff is not a contaminant that I'm all that worried about. Whereas if I say I dump these sausages out on the deck, well, I'd wipe up where all the meat, juice, and all that kind of stuff came from. Because that might be a contaminant. I do try to keep the cabin pretty clean. Which is, if you've ever gone down in here, you'd say, wow, there's a lot of stuff. Like behind me. Looks like 
a mess. Well, this is all just like food and snacks and stuff. So everything it is it, it, like it's organized because I only have a limited amount of space. So I do take stuff off that I'm not using. And I swap stuff out because if if I didn't do that there'd be a lot more stuff in here. Like for instance, I, I took out the griddle which I used in the summer. I'm not going outside to griddle. And actually I put this here, this toaster oven for when I have shore power like this, but I'm going to take this out and put it back in when before this trip. And by this trip, I mean the trip from New Jersey back to Maryland because this is super sweet. Oh yeah, that smells so good. All right, well, it's time for me to eat my breakfast, I think. I don't know how long they're supposed to take, but I'm eating them now. Oh yeah, <laughs> breakfast time. <laughs> breakfast on floaty boat. Oh yeah. <laughs>